Okay. Here's my uh, setup for a field day. I've been playing with uh, ham radio the last couple of months. Got my license now, about three months. So I've combined my camping hobby with uh, amateur radio. So this is a field day setup. I can uh, work for one day or more than one day. It's not really an emergency communication setup, even though I'd like to do that someday. Uh, it's mainly just for me to play and get familiar with the gear and enjoy trying different things and out uh, using it overnight and using it in uh, setting up my own antennas up and everything. So uh, this, I'll just do a quick run through now. This isn't the gear that you take on a uh, mass transit type system. This is something that you'd have to have a vehicle to transport. If I was going mass transit or doing a go bag or whatever, I'd, I'd have to decide you know, what I was going to take. It's pretty obvious the heavier, bulkier stuff. But anyhow, let's go through it here. I have a 10 by 10 foot uh, shelter logic pop-up canopy there. So that's heavy, steel, it's nice. Uh, I've had it out in wind, rain, snow, you know, whatever. Use a Mr. Buddy heater. Here's the uh, canopy top along with four sidewalls. If you can use a heater like this, it's really best to completely enclose it uh, in the sense that, you know, you want to keep the heat in and no wind. Now these, these have uh, safety shutoffs, low oxygen, tip meters, and whatever. Uh, I got a hose here and a 20 pound tank and a 1 pound tank, a uh, little single burner propane stove so I can you know, make myself a little coffee, tea, make myself a little meal. Of course all this gear is somewhat heavy and bulky so if possible I take this uh, four wheel cart to uh, lug it around. I have a uh, cold weather sleeping bag here. This is a U.S. Army shelter half on a piece of canvas. It's really handy. You can set wind breaks and throw it over things. And I just like using that in winter because it's better around uh, heat and fires. And it doesn't blow away as much like plastic. Now, it's not completely waterproof. I have blue tarps, of course. It's all sitting on blue tarps. A U.S. Uh, surplus Army uh, Alice Pack frame. And I use this for carrying uh, uh, water or firewood or if I have to carry this deep cycle battery, all that kind of stuff I can carry with the shelter uh, with this Alice Pack frame. I have back here a uh, foldable cot along with this uh, foam mattress uh, on top. The cot kind of sags, it's not that comfortable, so you put a foam mattress on it, distributes your weight a lot more evenly, that's kind of nice. Uh, here is a 16 by, uh, I'm sorry, a 21 by 36 inch duffel bag, canvas. It's not waterproof, but it's pretty tough. It only costs $17. It's zipper. And in there I have a lot of tools and equipment. Uh, tools for the ham radio, you know, so soldering iron, some wire nippers, and uh, electrical tape, and solder, and, you know, some wire. Um, I have my buck saw, my homemade buck saw. I have my e-tool in there. I have a pair of water boots if I'm out in there and it's, it's rainy. Again, I'm not backpacking this stuff. This is more or less a car camp kind of stationary setup. So I repair water boots in there, you know, work, uh, construction worker type boots. Uh, I have a pair of water shoes that I use for slippers in case I, you know, just need something to get out of my work boots. Um, I have some rope in there and some uh, uh, emergency rations and snacks and tape and, you know, I'll pull it out a wool blanket plastic bags, I'll pull that out later maybe. Uh, here this is a little haversack that I waterproofed and kind of made a little more durable with my paraffin and mineral or a boiled linseed oil mix. And here's a 12 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. I want to get two of them and put them in parallel. And then I would have 24 amp hours of 12 volts which can allow me to run my 2 meter rig or even the HF rig for a while. Uh, if you're going out, you know, bring water. Here's a one gallon water. Uh, you never know when you're going to get water. Of course, got to prevent from freezing. This is my antenna mask setup. I use an inverted V homemade dipole out of 18 gauge wire, 40 meter and 20 meter. And I have three of these six sections of aluminum that I put up with a three foot uh, standoff at the top, a wooden standoff, so I can get up about 18 feet. And that makes my inverted V. Uh, here is a portable fire grade fire grill, and this I can make a little fire outside outside my shelter to still warm up. It's just a sample of some firewood I cut up with my buck saw. Of course, I'm assuming I'm going to have electricity at some point because these batteries aren't going to last that long. If you're transmitting, if you're receiving, it's amazing how long batteries last. Uh, but here's a, a trouble light with a three-tap electrical outlet. This is for my antenna to spool it up on. 
Uh, my day pack always goes with me as, you know, my little, uh, you know, a knife and some snacks and a book and things like that. Gloves, hat, extra pair of socks. Uh, uh, one pint flask for coffee, uh, one liter stainless steel flask for water. Uh, here's a dry box. All my radio gear fits in this box. Now, it fits in there tight and there isn't a nice rack or anything. This is not a waterproof pelican box. It's water resistant. So it'll work fine in the rain. Uh, carrying it around, keeps things from getting bumped around in the knobs. Uh, these aren't really ruggedized type radios, uh, so you want to keep them from getting bumped around in, in a hard case. My laptop, netbook computer, so I can do uh, email over the radio. You know, Winlink, I've been doing that. Uh, 105 amp hour deep cycle battery and a charger. I have a way to charge it. And take this little folding table and tripod stool. That's the most comfortable setup. But uh, pretty portable, pretty nice. I'd like a better table, but you know, again, I want to try and keep this uh, so that I can set it up easy and take it in the car as easily as possible. I have four of these three foot by four foot pieces of OSB that I put under, uh, one inch styrofoam underneath here and furring strips with drywall screws, and now it's all supported. And this is a floor for my shelter, so it's kind of big, kind of bulky. But it really is nice to keep your feet dry and keep yourself off that damp ground if it's cold and wet and windy and nasty out. In the middle of summer, you probably wouldn't need something like this, but uh, the rest of the year, it's really nice to, to be able to stand on something. So that's my whole setup. I'll break out this bag and show you what's in there. You've seen what's in uh, my knapsack and kind of what I do in my daily carry. So that's uh, what I've been doing for ham radio lately. Thanks for watching.